Hey guys, this is Ken down here at Camping World of Asheville and I'm really excited about doing a video on this guy right here. This is the all new, all new for 2024, new design. This is the Forest River Campsite Reserve 25 foot MW, which it is a bunkhouse. So I have no idea what MW stands for. They change it up a little bit sometimes, but it is a bunkhouse. It's 25 feet. It's really cool. Check out that paint job. I just absolutely love the graphics. Look at all those windows. That's another thing I just absolutely love about this camper is all the windows. And then of course it's got that slick aluminum no more of this corrugation and stuff it's got a nice smooth aluminum siding on the side which is supposed to be thicker harder and more dent resistant than the other aluminum side so i'm really excited about this guy let's jump inside and before we even get inside look at that wide step right there i noticed that right off the bat you got solid steps and then you got this nice wide step first step coming out of the camper there makes it so much more stable coming out and then of course look at these incredible looking barn wood floors look at that that is just absolutely just i love it and then you just come right on up and look at this interior it's got three different colors on the interior right here in the back look at this we got these curtains right here that opens up there's your double bunks and we're not talking about little short bunks we're talking about good size full size bunks right there each one has an individual light a window a usb port and power so you can even put an adult in the size of these bunks and it has its own built-in ladder right here i have not seen that of course there is an air conditioning duct right above there another light another window and more usb ports and power for the bunk beds what a great combination all right let's check out this bathroom again more of that barnwood floor more of those browns on the cabinets an extra large sink here look at this this is actually a pretty large sink with a backsplash accented and then check out the medicine cabinet open that guy up got a nice deep medicine cabinet right there look at that right there that right there means you have endless hot water so it is a tankless hot water heater there's your toilet right there and now let's check out the shower here oh man check out that shower head look at that that's like having like a rain cloud right there inside your shower it's you got three different settings on it man that is really cool so let's look here it's a nice rectangular shower it's got a skylight up above here you need to get up over your head for you tall guys and then one last thing in this bathroom is that max air fan right there that acts just like a ceiling fan. It's going to take all the moisture right out of the bathroom. Now out of the bathroom, I'm just going to take you around the living area. And I see something right here, right out the bat. Look at this. And it actually has the garbage can in there. So you've got a nice little hideaway garbage can place right there bar top right here right as you come in you could put a couple of stools here and folks could sit here if they wanted to and it has the usb ports if you need to charge your stuff that right there means you've got solar on the top and check this out look at this box right here this is all your controls and the other thing i notice about this guy is over that massive window right there there's hooks for hanging this could be a coat here over these over here could be dish towels. Man, they have thought of everything in this guy. Now, let me go around the end here and boom, there's a, look at the size of that cabinet. A big door right there underneath that stainless steel uh, sink right there. Look at this, nice stainless steel sink. 
you got a drying rack right here on the top. Not only do you have a drying rack, but you also have a bamboo cutting board. Look at that. It comes with a bamboo cutting board. Really cool right there. And then, of course, big sink with a gooseneck uh, faucet on it so you can get your pots and pans up underneath. And then we got this guy right here. I have not seen this in other campers. This is new for this year. You ever go to your favorite brewery or your favorite restaurant and they wash the glasses in a thing right here? You just put it down and it sprays up into that glass, washes it just like as if you were at a restaurant. Very cool. And then, of course, I'll move this stuff right over here and you have the seamless countertop right here. This is a seamless countertop. Check that out. And we've got a couple of drawers. Nice deep. Look, that's deep. That's deeper than most drawers I've seen. With it's got the uh, nice metal rack with the uh, ball bearings in the side, so they're nice and smooth. Two of those right there. And then of course an oven down here. It is a convection oven and microwave all together as one. So you've got some cooking space right there. And then of course your gas powered three eye stove right up here with a glass cover that comes over and covers that up in case you needed more prep space. And what I really like is look at the size of that window. That is the industry largest window in a camper this size. And not only that, but you actually have some cubby space right here. You can put some boxed goods or whatever. It's just very convenient for all of that to be right here in your kitchen area. Another one of those Max Air fans right up there to pull out any... Uh, smoke or anything inside your cooking area just in case you burn something but hey we are definitely not accusing you of burning anything right next to that is your entertainment center with a fireplace this fireplace actually does put out heat right there so if you needed to save your gas and just knock the chill off that's what that's for a big 50 inch television wow that is so cool and now, here comes the coup d'etat of the kitchen area. Undo this hook. Let me pull. It is a hidden pantry behind the television entertainment center. Look at the size of that. Huge, huge storage right there in the corner behind the TV. These guys have thought of everything in this camper. It may only have 25 feet of living space, but it feels like a much larger camper inside, especially with the family. Now, I'm really excited about a double doored refrigerator. Look at the size of that refrigerator here in the camper. You usually don't find a refrigerator this large inside a camper this size so a double door refrigerator with of course a freezer down here on the bottom check that out very nice and they conveniently put that in the slide right there so you can have space you've got some shelf space over here a nice little countertop right here with the usb ports right there so that would be your maybe your phone and iPad charging station. And then I'm just gonna swing over here and show you the rest of that slide down the side. Another one of those big square windows that lets all that light in. You have a U-shaped dinette. And what that does for you in the U-shaped dinette is make it more comfortable for dining. Everybody can get around the table and it's more comfort for seating as well say i'll show you right quick say you wanted to watch television but all you have is the dinette set you don't have a couch to watch the television 
Well, because you have a wraparound dinette set with these wraparound cushions, I can sit over here in the corner, lounge around, see the television comfortably, put up my feet if I want to, and then I can also look out that massive window and check out what other folks are doing in the campground, maybe watch the kids play outside, something to that effect. And I've got a full view all the way around the camper, and I have my feet up. So, and you also can use this as a bed as well. This table flattens down, flattens down to the bottom here, goes on these rails, and then you've got this whole area as a bed. You could probably get two people on that bed right there, so that's a lot. That's really fun now. Also, look at the size of these drawers. Got a water filter in there, but the size of the drawers are the entire bottom of the bench here. And it's got an anti, a little catch on it so it doesn't come open. And you have two of these. I have not seen. Usually you have to pick up the pad and stick your finger up under there and pull up a piece. But these come with slide out drawers that make it so convenient. And it's got a little catch so they don't just slide right out as you're going down the road. Here we are in the bedroom. I'm hanging out on the queen size bed right there. Just so you got, I could show you this wall right here. Look at all those cubbies right there. That is four shelves with containers in there and look at that nice barn door that just slides across the track here i'll show you the two windows for a cross breeze right there this thing is just absolutely full of windows now let me show you this guy right here that is a surge protector that has an outlet usb and all that kind of good stuff right there so just in case you need some surge protection or if you need it to keep running while you have your CPAP machine hooked up to it, you've got power right there. Now check out, this is an end table right here. And then above that we have one, two, three overhead storage bins. And then of course, some more hanging storage here on the side wardrobe. And then some more space right up under there for linens. And if that was not enough storage for you, hey, why don't we just uh, lift up the bed and show you that foot locker that's right there under the bed. Man, this bedroom has more storage. Whoop, there's my finger. Don't pay attention to my finger. So you got one, two, three, four, five cabinets. One, two, three, four shelves with bins in them. That is the most space I have seen in a bedroom. And I really like those two reading lights up there as well. So what a bedroom, what a camper. Guys, now we're back outside and I wanted to show you the campsite of this camper. Lots of great amenities out here. First of all, look at these square windows. Like I said, these are the largest windows in its class. So many windows, you got four right up here. I love this tinted door right here. This is a tinted glass door. It's got some graphics, got some mountains on it. Who wouldn't love to see the mountains right there? And then of course, under those bunks back there, you've got some more storage and it's huge. I can get my whole, I can get my whole body inside there. So you've got the some more storage right there. Other amenities, you have an outdoor kitchen. Check this out. You have an outdoor kitchen down here. I'm gonna show you that here in a minute. Some more storage up under that, but it's a nice big door. Some of them come with a small door in your pass-through storage, but this has an extra large door right there. Check out the size of that awning. This awning right here, 16 full feet of awning right there to get you out of the sunlight or to get you out of the rain. And there's lots of things to do under here while the awning's out. Look, you got two marine grade speakers right here. Got a place right here for your television, power, uh, cable hookup. 
So all your entertainment can be right out here. Two more things I'm gonna point out. I'm gonna point out those double axle with the aluminum wheels. Those look really sweet. And of course you've got quick drop stabilizer bars. All you gotta do is drop them down, roll it at once or twice, and you're good to go. Open this up to reveal that pass-through storage on the inside. Look at that, it goes all the way across down there. You can see the door on the other side. And what's really cool about this pass-through storage is, is that they put an extra large door here. Most campers, if the pass-through storage was this size, this is the size door you would get. But no, they went with an extra large door because they know you might hang a few things in here strap a few things in, keep things from rolling around. Very nice job on their part about those hooks. And last but not least, let's go over door number three and check this out. You have your outdoor kitchen right here. Open this up. Look, you got some refrigerator space right there. And then of course your grill. Ooh, that's a nice big square griddle. Look at that. That's a nice big griddle right there. Greystone right there on this sliding uh, track right here. Wow, very nice. Really nice back here because you've got the tankless hot water heater right here. It's made in Elkhart, Indiana by Forest River, so I really like the little American flag right there to let you know, know it's American made. I love the mountains, the graphics on the top, but what's really important is this guy right here. Just about every other camper comes camera backup camera prepped this guy he comes with the camera so how about that that's a nice amenity and then of course you got a place up here for a telescoping ladder that you can just clip in right there totally walkable roof now here on the non-camp side of your camper you get to see what the slide looks like and what i really like about the slide is that not only does it have tinted windows not only are they big square windows it has reflection on it that's going to reflect the sun it's going to keep it cooler on the inside nobody can see inside right there even through the window tent even if you've got lights on on the inside a great window right there you have outdoor shower here's all your water hookups black water flush tank your black water uh, outlet right down here and what's really cool there's a light out here that is something that the other camper makers have not put on their campers is having a light in this area right here so you can see what you're doing guys this is just a great camper and i'm really excited about these this year we've got three different models of these campsite reserves one of them is a bunkhouse the other two are couples campers you've got to come down and see these these are all new for 2024 exclusively here at camping world you guys just got to come out and see them so please come on down here and see me ken here at camping world of Asheville, and let's take a tour